My favorite thing is raking because it shows yourself like self-control and it makes you have patience just to take time when you're raking and so it shows you a lot of responsibility. I keep coming back because I think I've always been a rodeo person and I've always dreamed of being in rodeo and that's not why I've been coming back to Yada Ranch, it's because it, tel it helps you in self assistance. When I was at home, I used to get so angry, just over nothing, just get angry. And we auto ranch has helped me calm down a lot. And so I'm not all rampunctious anymore. I'm actually, I'm a young lady. And so I really appreciate that from we auto ranch helping me out. I've been involved with Riata Ranch for seven years. I started when I was five years old. Um, I started for basic riding lessons. My mom, she found an article in the newspaper and she was really interested in it just for riding lessons because I was, I was really into horses. I like the bonds we create with the horses and the girls and I like to travel all over the world. I've learned how to be confident and be brave and how to stand out in front of people, how to be different. The reason I keep coming, coming back to Riata is because I can be myself in front of everybody. It's not really you have to fit in, it's not like at school where you um, have to impress people. It's more you be yourself and you get accepted. We've had a lot of different types of horses over the years, but the Appaloosa that we've had have just been phenomenal and I am very pleased with the horses that we have had. First of all, they're colorful and uh, that really attracts people, but their temperament, we find them very easy to work with and we've never had a, you know, a nickel's bit of trouble with them. We, we like the fact that uh, the horses are um, accepting of these young people. As, as you know, our program is, um, we have different ages and we have different abilities and different experiences. Um, some of our girls don't have two days worth and some have two years. So the horses that we have in our program have to be somewhat tolerant. But also what I teach my girls is, you know, horse is only as good as its riders. But I will tell you this, we love our Appaloosas. They've been fantastic for us. And, and because we ride Appaloosas, they've gotten us a lot of attention. This episode made possible by Neutrina, leaders in equine nutrition and education. Papillon Ranch, home of the world and national champion Zippo's legend PR. The Appaloosa Horse Club 2006 Trail Rides. Dean's Ranch, home of Made Magic, national champion sire. And by the Appaloosa Horse Club Endurance Ride Championship. Appaloosa horses are renowned the world over for their beauty, dependability, and character. The Appaloosa Horse Club was chartered in 1938 to preserve and enhance this beloved American breed. From those first few Appaloosa lovers, the APHC has grown into one of the leading horse breed registries in the world. The APHC offers a wide variety of membership options so that every member can choose a plan perfectly suited to them. Show your pride. Register online now at www.appaloosa.com. Pump Daddy is the company to satisfy all your pumping needs. We have one of the largest inventories of new and used pumps in the industry, including the heavy-duty drag flow, the pump that stirs things up. Along with a first-rate parts department, we have a certified in-house repair and testing facility, as well as a machine shop. Visit us on the web or call for more information. At Pump Daddy's, we stock pumps, parts, and service, not excuses. Elegance, color, movement, class, and style. For your next world champion prospect, 
or for a great companion to ride down the trail, visit us at www.larabeeappaloosas.com. Ranch is the proud producer of many quality horses that are competitive at national and world levels. We're especially proud to showcase Always Inclusive, two-time Appaloosa national champion. Black Tree Ranch was created and designed to breed and grow nothing but champions. If your needs include champion bred babies, stud service, or shipped semen, let Always Inclusive and Black Tree Ranch deliver your next champion. This week's Moment in Time brought to you by Foundation Appaloosa Breeders. Apache Double, a chestnut and white Appaloosa stallion was foaled in 1969, bred by George and Iola Hatley of Moscow, Idaho. Hatley took his Appaloosa mare run around, a double bred descendant of Apache, to be bred to the thoroughbred stallion, Double Ray. Like his namesake, Apache Double was a formidable competitor. Trained by Joe King, the powerful stallion amassed an incredible record of 18 wins and three placings out of 21 starts. He would set 14 world track records. In 1974, he broke another record by being the first Appaloosa to sell for $100,000. After his racing career, he earned a reserve national halter championship. As great a race and show horse as he was though, Apache Double's greatest legacy to the breed was his role as a sire. The all-time leading sire of racing Appaloosas, he is the only Appaloosa to go over the $2 million mark in winnings of his get. Passing on his versatility, Double's get earned numerous ROMs, medallions, and other lifetime awards. He passed away on October 23, 1999, at the age of 30. He was awarded the breed's highest honor when he was enshrined in the Appaloosa Horse Club Racing Hall of Fame in 2001. Riata has taught me a lot in both my personal and professional life. Um, it's, it's, a, it's an area of confidence for me and you know you learn how to stand with confidence, you learn how to speak with confidence, um, you learn how to work with people and you learn the value of, of working together as a group and all making sure that things go smoothly and helping each other out. You learn um, how to take direction from other people, which was definitely something that I needed to learn. I was a little bit rebellious when I was younger and um, there's not a lot of room for that at Riata since what we do is, is you know serious and dangerous. You kind of have to um, listen to what the boss says, so I learned to do that a bit. The girls that I knew when I was out at Riata 15 years ago and 10 years ago are still some of my best friends in the world. I mean, my sisters and I did it together and it was a huge bonding experience for us. Um, and actually my sister, uh, my youngest sister, is one of the ones that's going to Cavalia. She's at Cavalia right now also, so we're hopefully going to be doing this together and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and then the other girls, there's um, there, some of them are still, I keep in contact with them and they're lifelong friends. I mean, there's something about doing something this unique and this hard. I mean, we, we were hot together, we were miserable together, we were happy together, we were nervous together. I mean, all of that, it just, you know, it's really, it was an amazing thing. And I had very, very good friends out here.